They show on the road and we start with Tusk FC. We're back at the summit of the FKF Premier League after a hard fought win over Gary Bangi Sharks on Saturday at the Nyaya National Stadium. The lone goal for Tusker was scored by Dio Gracias Ojok in the second minute of the match. Tusker lead the table one point ahead of Gorma here. Great. Right, Gord Maher suffered a huge blow in the FKF Premier League title chase after going down 2-1 at the arch rival AFC Leopard at the Nyayo Stadium. Gord Maher will ruin in the missed chances, including the early penalty missed by striker Benson Omala. Leopard drew the first blood through a penalty converted by Victor Omune. Gord responded almost immediately with the Austin Odiambo heading into the equalizer, but it is Leopard who took the lead again a few minutes from halftime with a head goal. Gord Maya are second on the log, a point behind Tusker FC with four matches to play. The Dark Horses and Zoya Sugar are still within a striking distance of leaders after an impressive 2 0 win over Kakamega Homeboys in a Western Derby played at the Bukungu Stadium. Well, after a barren first half, James Kibande, who is one of the top scorers in the league, opened the scoring for Zoya in the 52nd minute with a well executed um, uh, um, goal. Eight minutes later, Benjamin Hassan doubled the lead, finishing off a wonderful move by Zoya Sugar. And Zoya third on the log, only four points behind Tusker and three points points behind Gorma here. game iko nzuri lakini first half tulianza pole pole kidogo baji opponent ndio pia alikuwa akapata chance kama mbili so first half tulianza pole pole but lakini game tulikuwa tumeprepare vizuri na pia W unajua pia W wewe ndio vile nakuaga so tulijua game itakuwa tough na tukaprepare vizuri na ndio tutapata tukashinda juu tumekuja to second half tukasema tutulie na mpira tunaweza funga pia so ndio tutapata tumecheza vizuri second half tukaweza funga mabao mawili In another league match, Talanta FC edged out relegation-bound Vihiga Bullet 1-0 at the Bukungu Stadium, Kakamega County. Brianna Yakama scored the only goal of the match in the 30th minute. Vihiga had a chance to salvage a point, but William Madandaza, Madandas penalty was saved by Talanta goalkeeper Kevin Otieno. <laughs> Well, we switch gears a little bit and we move from the men's football to women's football. And Kibera Soka Queens, Hamad Kawa Queens 7 0 in the FKF Cup quarterfinal match played in Nairobi. Kibera are through to the semi finals where they will play Kisumu All Starlets. Ama nasema kwamba uti wa mgongo wao ni ile safi ya katikati ambayo wamemiliki sana tangu mechi ianze mpaka wakati huu. Nafasi nyingine hapa wanafunga goli la pili hapa. Sasa nafasi ile Wini. Wini Wills kwa tenda alikuwa katika nafasi nzuri na Ansi atako kwa mara nyingine tena. Atako katika nafasi ya tako. Anafanya ku place tu. Burton kwa mara ya tatu hapa Ansi atako. Atari yo. Let's cross pale katikati Nancy atako piga tacha kwanza atako goli la nne hapa piga hatrick hatrick ya mapema sana katika dakika 25 uh, sidhani ikiwa kahawa queens wataweza kujurusha kwenye mechi labda tu wapunguze jinsi wanavyo wanavyo baola baola saba hilo manake ni amekuwa uti wa mgongo wa hii team na pia kwenye now, Nakuru Queens caused the biggest upset in the FKF Women Cup quarterfinals when they blanked Thika Queens 2-0 in Nairobi. Eh, kwenye mpira sasa Lupemba Bolonda. Fanya masiara kule atari ile. Na katika na fasi ile, na jifunga hapa. 
ametoka kule hatari ile wanafanya nini makosa umeyafanya hapa inatamatika hapa katika uwaga wa katika uwanja wa Ruaraka ikiwa na na Well, FKFPL, four matches to go. It looks like war between Tasca and Gormai, but there's a surprise in the make. Yes. Nzoia is the team to watch. Exactly. If you ask me. Yes. They have the next match to play. They look quite uh, favorable for them. The next match that Nzoia is playing, yeah. Nzoia are playing Karyobangi Sharks and they're playing home. Yes, that's an advantage for them. Advantage for them because Sharks have lost the last six games. I don't see them winning in Zoya. So those are three points to Zoya Sugar. Yeah. They are on 60 points. Add those three, 63. Yeah. Gore and Task on the It's other hand. It's time for them. They are playing against each other. Yes. That's a, week another end. like another derby like the one we experienced. It's another over top the of the weekend. table clash. Yes. And the most likely result if you ask me is a draw. Is a draw. Yes. Most likely, yes. Because everyone is very cagey. Nobody is going out full out for a win yeah. because they're like, we'd rather pick a point here and win the other games that are coming in. Quite, quite. Uh, But it gets interesting possible. after that because the next game after Tasca is playing Gor the next weekend, Tasca travel to Moroni. Is really easy for Tasca in Moroni? No way. It's never easy. No way because the only people who've picked three points from Moroni, I think, is Kakamega Homeboys. All three points. Yeah, it's Kakamega homeboys. The rest, FC went there, draw. Gore went there, draw. Um, police went there, draw. Um, uh, who else? The big guns. Nobody has picked three points there. It's very tough for them. What do you call Ken Cutters. Very difficult in Muhoroni. Yeah. So yeah. that's where Gore, uh, Tasca is heading to. Yes. But it gets worse for Gore because It they does. play who? Ulinzi in that. Weekend. They play Ulinzi, yes. Very tough match for them. But Zoya Sugar, they come to the city, they are playing Nairobi City Stars. Customer and, Kawaida. And also remember, Homeboys is never easy for Gore as well. The homeboys is never. Actually, the people with the toughest fixtures, the remaining four games is Gore. It's Gore. Because yes. they play Tasca, they play Ulinzi, they play Homeboys, they finish off with City Stars. Yeah, the only game Gore, I think, maybe will pull through here easily could be City Stars. Maybe. Correct. Yeah. City Stars yeah. could be an easy win for them. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Tasca. Gore, Wazito, Posta, Vihiga. Vihiga. Guaranteed they would win against Vihiga. And maybe if they plan themselves well, Wazito. Posta is a bogey team for them. It is. They've never beaten Posta in a very long time. Yeah. So that could be a draw. So two draws, two wins for them. Gorma here, uh, maybe three draws, one win. Ngumu sana for them to win this title. Then Zoya Sugar have a chance of winning all four because they play Sharks, they play City Stars, they play KCB at home in, Zoe, in Bungoma, then they play Sofapaka. The advantage game. they have with KCB, I wanted to say KCB would be easier for them, but considering they are playing home in Zoya. Yes, Zoya is at home. So KCB will have to sweat. Yeah, to win there. So it out. For me, the favorites right now, on paper, looking at the fixtures, yeah. Zoya, Sugar, Zoya Sugar, followed by Tasca, then Gorma here. They might win it. You never know. What happened yesterday, Mike, with your team? Good. Yes. Jana, to say me too, AFC is Mama Jana. <laughs> by the <laughs> way, <laughs> I can tell you for free. <laughs> If you watch the full match highlights, you will not understand. Did you expect? Give it to AFC Leopards. Two chances, two goals. One 50-50 penalty, but the striker was clever enough. Yeah. Ngiya Mbele, a defender, akikuguza, anguka. Yeah. Penalty, straight. They converted. Victor Omune never misses from the penalty spot. Next goal, out of nowhere. Long ball, he may defender may try to clear. It goes out for a corner. Everybody has been marked. It comes in far post. Maxwell, ametokea from nowhere. Header, inside. But... The first 25 minutes, Gore would have been 4-0 up. Four clear they chances. They had a chance. But Second half, the last 20 minutes, another three chances. They were just not lucky. Kuna mtu anashwa hapa sana. Kiongei yo topic. Ame piga piga tu miguchi ni. Anafanya hivi, anafanya. Wacha changie. Iyo game ulionaje. Chukua mai kutuambie. Yunaono nataka tu kuchangia. So, iyo game, ilikuwa dabi, eh. Uh, na vile niliona i think dabi na kwa gangumu 
na ukiangalia since 2016 eh FC wa Gashinda goal that's what i wanted to see yeah na yes. dabu and either way so vile mike amesema in football if you don't take your chances eh utakuwa punished eh yeah so unaweza kuwa na chance mingi na opponent unapata nini chance mbili na wapige moja game imesha hiyo so utabaki me lose game so size the pressure iko kwa gor pressure iko kwao sana na ukiangalia fixtures vile ziko mm. eh, tasca na gor ina kwa 50-50 na kwa draw na ukiangalia pia hisi ya gor na ulinzi gor haishindagi ulinzi sana sana ina kwa ga draw then hiyo match nyingine ni City Stars. City Stars. Wako na sio hata hiyo. Kaka Mega kwanza. Eh City Stars wa Gori Shindagi City Stars. Inakuwa pia ball ngumu. Pengine game inaweza kuwa hizi ya kwao ni vile Kaka Mega wanakuja. So mingi mion nikiangalia hii league mali naenda I think task out aibeba due to experience ya coach wao. Nikiangalia pia team yao wamekuwa together for long. What I defend the eh, title. Au ndo wana chance kwa ngo au ndio first then mm. maybe Nzoia. Nzoia anaweza wapatia second chance. Lakini vile naona ufika mahali hiyo teams kama KCB wako na coach mpoa sana ziko eh yeah. uh. game ya jana gor walikuwa na chance jana kuna chance wali west yenye ingewa yeah. punguzia oh. pressure au walikuwa na need to draw wangepiga draw wangekuwa juu ya table i think so bado yeah it's true yeah wangekuwa juu ya table eh wangekuwa juu ya table so wali yeah. mess so i think pia pressure ilikuwa mingi ukiangalia hata hiyo penalty ya Omala alipiga right goal alilala inside the ball ikato So I think your pressure pia crowd wa jazo ya Jupian ma vijana wa yangu. So hapo ndo itawa let down kidogo. Pressure ni mingi pia ma fans zao expectations zao ziko ziko juu. Kuna mtu alisema ma fans wa Gora kujagi kuchia wana kujanga. Yeah. Kuja densi. Densi show. Actually yesterday the kiwanja ilikuwa three quarters Gor Mahia. FC because of issues that they have with the federation their players waliambia fans wao wengine wasikuje. So oh. very few of the FC Leopards fans will kwa kiwa. Cuz inakwanga the other way. Now when you look at yeah FC <laughs> the season the other way, yeah. been the team to watch in terms of fans. Fans wao wamekuwa wanaenda study sana. Yeah yeah. Now the problem is this Gormahia team has never played in front of a big crowd. Never. Hawajacheza mbele ya crowd kubwa. So you mean they were under pressure because so of their fans? So much pressure. You could see it even the coach. Hata huko coach ajazoea pressure ya nini ya mafans. If the fans were coming consistently, then it would be good. The advantage for Gor is that wamepigwa jana next game hautawaona. Takwa litho. Fans no, fans utawaona. Oh, fans will disappear. They will not be there. Now But they'll the play their game. They'll play their Now game. they'll play their game. <laughs> they'll play against Tasca very well because the fans will not be there. Yeah? Interesting, Mike. Let me Very tell you the, the league has gotten to a point where this is what we want. We should have had AFC there and police and another team as well KCB should have maintained so that we have a five team um, race for the title but the way it looks but advantage again in this league unafungwa mtu anafikiri umetoka. Two weeks ago we said Nzoia have drawn again. By the way, they lost last week. That's the thing. Hawako. They've won one game. They are knocking. You know. So the games for me after this round the next week nzoia will have an advantage because they will win their game yes. tasca gore for me it's a draw then it will be one point separating all three because nzoia will go to 63 gore 64 tasca 65 the next round of matches will determine this league because gore will be playing ulinzi yes tough nut um, uh, nzoia will be playing um, uh, city stars 50-50 then Um, uh, Tasca will be going to Muoroni. And remember Muoroni ni kwa ni base ya Gori ngine. So they might come to cheer Muoroni just to intimidate yeah. Tasca. That's what happens. what happens. So yeah. 